These 10 signs prove you are too good at being single. Number 1. Your ideal date night is between you and a bottle of wine The idea of actually getting all done up to spend $13 each on drinks at some club makes you grateful for your jammies and cheap wine. Number 2. You sleep next to a pile of clothes, snacks, and books. When you aren't sleeping in the middle of the bed, one of the best perks of being single, you're sharing it with a huge pile of stuff. No point in cleaning up when you're the only one that ever sees it. Number 3. You can always find something wrong with every guy you go on a date with. Even if they seem great, there's always a deal breaker lurking in the back of your mind. No one is saying you should settle, but if you're looking for perfection, you're pretty much sealing your fate as a lifelong single. Number 4. All your friends come to your for single girl advice. Whenever a friend goes through a breakup, they turn to you for reassurance that being single isn't the end of the world. Of course you take this as a compliment, but it's a sure thing that your friends consider you the single one. Number 5. Your standards are impossibly high. Even if you have the opportunity to go on dates all the time, you eliminate most of them from the running before you even meet them. And for any number of reasons. You're looking for a guy with a job, the lifestyle, and the look, and you never stoop to dating what you think is below you. Number 6. You have the perfect response for anyone why you're still single. You have had too much practice answering this question so you've drafted a tailored response for anyone who might ask it. But anyone who knows you well has long since given up questioning your single status. At this point, it's just who you are and you have no worries about it. Number 7. You don't even realize when you're the third wheel. Since almost all of your friends are in relationships, if you want to hang out with them you have to be okay with being the third wheel. It's gotten to the point where you don't even notice you're hanging out with a bunch of couples. But this can be bad for actually finding other single people to date. Number 8. You don't notice when a guy is flirting with you. You're super out of practice at reading the signs that a guy is flirting with you. You wouldn't recognize it as flirting unless he showed up wearing a nice button down, holding a bouquet of flowers. Number 9. You sabotage relationships. As soon as you realize the guy you're seeing is pushing for an exclusive relationship, you start to pull away. It's not because you don't like him but because being single is all you know, and you don't want to jeopardize your personal freedom. Number 10. You're set in your single person ways. You love sleeping alone a little too much, and you cook just enough for dinner so you have leftovers for the next day. Making tiny adjustments to your routine to accommodate the relationship doesn't come naturally, and you end up feeling like you're losing more than you're gaining when you start to get serious with someone.